the best apps to link to DJ Pro using Ableton Link. DJ Spiegel Spin, and in this video, I'm gonna show you my three favorite apps to link to DJ Pro. Now, DJ Pro is an all-in-one software, so they have pretty much everything that you would need to DJ with, but if you wanna get a little more advanced, then you could use the Ableton link feature to link to other apps. And now this will keep the BPM and keep the beat grid within different apps. And it's really cool to be able to extend DJ Pro with all these awesome apps. And another cool thing you could do is if you have friends or other people that DJ or like to produce music, you could be on DJ Pro Mixing and they could be on another app using like a synthesizer or a drum machine and you could be like in a band. So I'm gonna take you through three of the apps that I use every day to mix with DJ Pro. One of the, my favorite apps is the Launchpad. This gives you access to kind of like a drum machine to make beats and it's similar to the DJ Pro Looper, but it's um, it, it's a little more advanced and you could do more stuff with it. So first to set it up with Ableton Link is you go up to the top here, these three dots, you go to settings and then Ableton Link, and then you're gonna turn it on. Now that Ableton Link is set up, you could choose over here. Uh, if you get the premium version, there's new, um, samples and stuff that you could buy and new packs you could buy but it comes with a couple so let's do um we got retro funk um we'll do some hip-hop so just like with the dj pro looper um to the left we have like the drum beats so so there is eight of these rows and then you could start building a beat over the rows um in the beginning, it, the first couple of rows are drums and hi-hats and stuff, and then the last ones are vocals and effects. So to set up a really cool beat really quick, you just go like this. Now we have this song playing here, and if you look at the BPM, it is 95. So now if we go over to our DJ Pro Looper, it speeds up the other song to what we have on DJ Pro. So now it's at 133. So it'll be completely in sync if we add one of these. So this app is, is a lot of fun and it's very easy to use. You don't have to have any music production experience or anything like that. And you could make your own custom beats. And then with these beats, you could record them and then you could load them as separate tracks in DJ Pro. Or you could have, you could be on DJ Pro doing some scratching and then your friend could be making a beat on here. So I'll show you what that would be like. And then now we're back on DJ Pro. And we'll go to Classic. Set up our scratch sample. We might have to turn the volume up. So now this is the DJ Pro Looper is not playing anything. That loop is coming from the launch pad. So definitely download the free version, try it out, link it to DJ Pro, maybe have one of your friends making a beat and you're um, scratching on DJ Pro or something like that and experiment with it. It's free 
And if you want to get more of the sample packs and stuff, maybe do the paid version. It's definitely worth it. Boom, 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 boom. Another great app to use with Ableton Link and DJ Pro is Gadget 2. This is one of the most advanced music apps available on the iPad. And what it does is it gives you access to digital versions of real synthesizer and drum making machines. So you go over here and you pick which one you want to do. If you, if you are familiar with these synthesizers and making beats like the old school way, you would, these are, will be familiar to you. So there's some really cool ones. Uh, it comes with uh, like two or three of them are free. And then uh, you could buy some for $9.99 and stuff like that. But they have some really cool... It, it's called Gadget because that's what it is. You load up the gadget and then you have a digital version of this device. And now you could record, uh, you could record stuff on here and then load it into a track on DJ Pro every knob and every button on the device that would be on the real device is on this digital device and there's unlimited amount of stuff you could do with this if you want to produce an original song using dj pro you could record some scratching and then some mixing in dj pro and then load it into here and then add some synthesizers to it and add some other drum machines and stuff. Or if you want to be DJing live and then you have a friend or someone, they could be playing the synthesizer going along to your mix. So you could get really creative with this. You It takes a lot of time because you're actually producing the music like you would on the old school the device. So there is a learning cur curve, but it's definitely worth it to know how to produce your own beats using synthesizers and drum machines. So definitely check out the free version. And then if you wanna buy one of the packs or this access to the synthesizer that you think is really cool, you could buy some and definitely give it a try. It's called Gadget 2 and it's available on the App Store. Great app is called the Groove Pad. This is similar to the Launchpad, but it has some differences. The free version has a lot of ads, but if you get the paid version, you have access to all these um, sample packs to make beats with. So let's, it, the free version gives you, um, gives you access to the modern hip hop one. That's funny, it was a, a DJ Pro ad came up while I was, looking okay so this is the app you could make a beat on it the same type of thing but this one you could have as many you could have as many beats playing as you want it's time to ride, ride. Pick a squad on. what makes the difference between this and the launch pad is it has like these one shot effects so the same thing you're gonna make a beat with this and then someone else could be mixing and you could just use it as an external beat making device while you are mixing with dj pro it's definitely a cool app if you pay for the paid version it's definitely worth it it has access to the ableton link so it'll be the same type of same type of thing as the launch pad but just has a little bit more professional sample packs so all right guys uh thanks for watching this is gonna be a multi-part video series i'm gonna do a part two and part three of other apps that will link perfectly with dj pro so if you like learning how to dj with the ipad and dj pro give my video a like and subscribe to this channel for more great dj content thank you